Well, good morning and uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're kicking off the airport connector project today. Uh, it's the first major paving project that we'll be doing this year as part of RIDOT's push to repave Rhode Island's roads. It's a $12.9 million project scheduled for completion um, in June of next year, about a year from now. Uh, I certainly want to thank the BL companies um, and the Cardi Corporation uh, for being here today who will be responsible for completing this project on time and on budget, right? Also, we have a, a number of speakers uh, from state and, and uh, local and, and federal government. You know, these projects just don't happen unless there's cooperation all the way from the local level with the mayor to the governor and the, uh, and the, and the speaker getting together and providing the much needed state funds to fund this kind of project. And of course, our congressional delegation that has been bringing to Rhode Island billions of dollars of additional funding for new infrastructure and for rebuilding Rhode Island into something we can all be proud of, as we'll be doing with this project. As you know, the roadworks legislation kind of kicked things off seven years ago. And it's been our guidebook for rebuilding Rhode Island roads and bridges, and it mandates that we fix our bridges to a, a state of good repair 90% or better uh, in sufficiency within the first 10 years of that program. And we're on a, the path of accomplishing that mission. And with the additional funds that are being made available to us, both at the federal level and in the state level, um, the governor asked us to begin to refocus on bringing our paving conditions, our roadway surfaces, um, up to the same level of sufficiencies as our, um, as our bridges. And this year, we're going to be investing $92 million in road improvements and projects. Over the next five years, we'll invest almost 500, a half a billion dollars in roadway resurfacing projects. Uh, Rhode, Island, Rhode Islanders are going to see a big difference. Um, this is as the saying goes, where the rubber meets the road, right? This is the thing that most people mo easily recognize in terms of the condition of their transportation infrastructure, the, the condition of the roadway surfaces. And this projects and, and a half a billion dollars more of them over the next five years are going to make it apparent to people here in Rhode Island that they have good roads and good uh, conditions and for many years, because of the permanent fixes and the new materials and methods that we'll be employing here, we'll fix those pothole issues that we all hear so much about um, permanently. We wanted to start here for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that this is a gateway to Rhode Island for many visitors from all over the world. Uh, a couple of years ago, a conversation between myself and the uh, General Secretary Treasurer of the Laborers International Union, Amin Sabatoni, uh, went to this issue that many businesses, many businessmen, many dignitaries come into Rhode Island at the airport, uh, and this connector is the first thing that they see and the last thing that they see before they leave our state. Uh, and what uh, I asked our folks at DOT uh, to do a couple of years ago is to develop a project that would combine both improvements to the safety and to the uh, infrastructure itself that is much needed along this corridor, but also uh, improve the beautification so that uh, Rhode Island, uh, people coming into Rhode Island from other parts of the world see what a beautiful state uh, we have right from uh, the get-go, as soon as they leave the plane and get onto our roadways. New landscaping will blend seamlessly with the, we work together with the airport commission to be able to blend this new landscaping we're creating along this roadway uh, with the airport. And it'll include uh, the planting of some 400 trees uh, and other plants 
uh, in both the median and the shoulder areas of this that will beautify it for many, many years to come. Uh, it includes beautiful species of autumn blaze maples, uh, blue spruce, ginkgos, hummingbirds, summer sweet bushes, a lot of beautiful sounding uh, plants and, and shrubs that uh, not only will improve the beauty, but also uh, will improve the environment along this corridor. Along with this, we're also going to be making the corridor safer uh, to, to get uh, between 1 and 1A and 95. And uh, we'll improve pedestrian conditions on post road uh, with new sidewalks and pedestrian ramps. And most importantly, we'll be providing a brand new surface for people to ride on, nice smooth riding surface. Of course, as I said before, none of this uh, is possible without the support uh, and the funding that comes uh, from the state and federal level. And the champion of this project and the other half billion dollars uh, of projects here in Rhode Island uh, for our paving initiative during the next five years has been uh, Governor McKee. And I'd like to welcome him to say a few words. Thank you, Director. There's not much more left to be said after you gave that nice <laughs> introduction, but uh, you know, in terms of what we're trying to do here, but uh, it's great to be here in Warwick. And um, with our mayor, our speaker, our rep, our council president, uh, local, uh, that's where the rubber hits the road, by the way, on our local level. And speaker, thank you so much, along with the Senate president. Uh, we are making an investment on our infrastructure. We took $100 million of the surplus, the largest surplus that's ever been managed in the state's history, and we applied that. And we, and we are going to take full advantage of our congressional delegations uh, and leveraging that for another $400 million for a total of $500 million of improvements to our roads. That's really important to us. Uh, Senator Reid, Senator Whitehouse, Congressman Langevin, along with Congressman Cicilline, each time I get to the mic, I thank them for their leadership. Uh, Rhode Island, is not leading an economic recovery in the Northeast. Uh, last I saw, second in the country, unless we have your support. And we know we have your support, and I thank them for that. <laughs> so the airport connector, as mentioned, 20,000 vehicles a day. It's, it's that point in place in time where we're going to make Rhode Island this destination state, and we're going to work with our airport to actually have more people coming in and then leaving back to their hometowns or the, their places of uh, where they live, whether it's international or whether it's uh, in, the, in the country. Uh, and we're going to continue doing that and make Rhode Island this place where people are going to come and visit. And uh, when they do, we know that's going to be really good for our economy. So not only is infrastructure important for the public safety, but it's very important for our economy. So I thank the people at DOT, Director, with your team, uh, I see many of them out there right now. Steve Cotty, thank you for your leadership as well. I'm not sure that we're getting full recognition of the investments that we're making in our infrastructure as I see national uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, reports, but I can guarantee you uh, that they will hear more about what is happening here, and it's the DOT along with our local contractors uh, that are doing this work. And we know, again, it's good for the economy, uh, it's good for our jobs, uh, and uh, it's good for our airport, and it's really good for the people of uh, the state of Rhode Island, what's happening here today. With that, I'll, I'll turn the mic over to Senator Reid. Thank you so much, Senator. It was good to walk you with you in the parades recently, and, you, and your high five in, in Chapachet was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Governor, very much. Uh, I want to commend the Governor for his leadership on this issue. I also want to recognize uh, Senator Whitehouse, Congressman Langevin and Congressman Cicilline, without their efforts, we would have not been able to deliver any of these resources to the state. Uh, this is an effort, uh, combined effort, and it should be recognized as such. It's nice to see uh, the mayor here, the speaker, Mr. Speaker, representatives, good to see you. Uh, Steve, how are you? Uh, this, we're all connected here. I went to high school with his father, yeah. and I went to high school with the director, so this is sort of family too. Uh, but we also want to, want to recognize uh, John Igliosi, the president of the Providence uh, City Council, and also Dan Bianco from the 
the laborers. Thanks so much. And of course, last but certainly not least, Carlos Machado. Thank you, Carlos. He's our Federal Thank Highway you. Administrator. He's, you couldn't ask for a better partner. Let me just uh, a word about Director Alvita. He's done a superb job. Uh, one of the reasons we can obtain these funds is because there's great confidence in the Federal Highway Administration and the Department of Transportation that they will be spent very well and very wisely. So thank you, Peter. And also, Peter has assembled a just terrific team, taking those veterans that have served for many years, getting young people in to the Department of Transportation, and you can see the results. Very efficient, very effective uh, use of federal resources and state resources that will make a difference decades from now. So thank you so much, Peter, for that. Uh, as everyone has said, uh, TF Green International Airport is uh, the gateway to Rhode Island. And when you come here, uh, the first impression you get is of the, the roadway out. And uh, when we're finished with this work, that impression will be stunningly effective. And as you depart, you'll uh, miss uh, the state as you leave. And I, it's going to be a great project. And we're at the start of a five-year project, about $492 million, to repave and landscape uh, hundreds and hundreds of miles of roadways in Rhode Island. And that'll lead to a better economy, a more efficient economy. And uh, we're so pleased to have worked together, my colleagues, to produce the infrastructure bill, which is going to give the state literally billions of dollars over the next several years. With that, uh, let me introduce uh, my colleague uh, and uh, someone who does so much for this state, Sheldon Whitehouse. Thank you, Jack. There is no uh, junior senator who has a better partner as a senior senator than, uh, than I do, and I want to recognize and thank Jack uh, for his leadership here. I want to recognize Director Alvedi, of course, who's constantly pushing for good projects, and Carlos Machado, who is here nonstop as we announce new projects. It's a little bit like Christmas when he shows up. You know that he brings bags of goodies. <laughs> and of course, the governor who's uh, leading the administration in making sure that all of this gets done. Um, I want to also recognize Mayor Picozzi. We're doing this in uh, Warwick, and it's terrific to have you with us, Frank. Our outstanding speaker, congratulations again for the truly remarkable budget that you guys all passed. I think you deserve a lot of commendation for the good work that went into that. Uh, Representative Bennett and Council President McAllister, thank you also for being here. And I too will shout out John Igliozzi, who's here in his official capacity, not his political capacity, but is lurking back there and merits recognition. And of course, our friend Steve Cardi, thank you to you and Cardi Construction for all the great work you do around Rhode Island. Uh, if you're a lawyer, you know that when you're making an argument, the first thing you say and the last thing you say are the things that the jury will remember. And similarly, when you come to Rhode Island, the first thing you see and the last thing you see will affect how you think about Rhode Island. So having this airport connector be something that is modern, beautiful, smooth, and safe is going to be important to all of us. And I'm uh, grateful that this project is going forward um, through the Environment Public Works Committee, which I sat on. We got the highway and bridge funding teed up for the infrastructure bill. Rhode Island's getting $2.5 billion, $1.7 billion just for highways and bridges, and there's another $15 billion out there for competitive grants. And the DOT does a great job pursuing those competitive grants, so let's keep going. In fact, two of those competitive grants are the redo of 146, which is long overdue, and the rebuild of the northbound viaduct right behind the Providence Place Mall. So the delegation is delivering. And the DOT is constructing along with our construction companies. And we are doing all of this in Langevin country. So let me turn it over to uh, Jim Langevin now that we're here in his district. And congratulations, Jim, on this success. OK, so this, this is working? OK. Well, Sheldon, thank you for the introduction. Good morning, everyone. Great to be here for the kickoff of this. Uh, Next phase of the uh, construction is going to happen around Rhode Island. This time, the uh, landscaping project, which is uh, greatly needed, and uh, thrilled to be here with uh, my colleagues in the delegation: our senior senator Jack Reed and Senator Whitehouse, and uh, of course, this is all 
Posse, along with my other colleague uh, in the House, Dave Cicilline. And um, let me just also recognize, of course, the Governor, Governor McKee. And uh, let me just say, Governor, I'm really impressed with how you've been leading and, and putting the infrastructure dollars to work uh, effectively, along with our, our Speaker, uh, Joe Shikarchi, and Senate President Ruggiero, and the members of the House and the Senate, uh, putting the, uh, the digital surplus money and the federal money to work on so many uh, important projects here in Rhode Island. We see the construction going on everywhere. So I thank you for your leadership. Uh, great to be with Mayor Ficozzi and the, my mayor in the city here, and, and uh, also Representative Bennett and uh, our uh, council president. And uh, thank you for being here. And also uh, uh, Councilman Iguiozzi, uh, uh, great to be with you as well, and, and all the folks from the, the construction trades. So this is just a, uh, a great day, another great day here in Rhode Island. And uh, I just point out, uh, you know, uh, Director Alvidi uh, has done an outstanding job. I want to mention him too, of course, and, and Carlos Machado. It's always good, as, as uh, others have said, and Senator Reed said, it, whenever Carlos shows up, the, uh, you know, the money's following, so that's a, that's a good day. And, um, you know, 10 years ago, if you remember, Rhode Island ranked uh, 50th in the nation for the state of our in infrastructure, dead last. And clearly, that needed to change, and oh, it has. So again, my you know, hats off to the governor and uh, Director Alvidi and his team for how they've been leading to bring us uh, way closer to the, uh, the top from where we were. Rhode Island uh, laborers, of course, have been hard at work repairing our, our roads and bridges and making our community safer and easier to navigate, which we greatly appreciate. And today, today we celebrate another phase of that, uh, that rebuilding, that uh, continued work with this $14 million uh, project modernize the exterior of our airport because aesthetics really do matter. It makes an impression. And uh, Rhode Island here, Queen International Airport, uh, is, uh, as others have said, the first thing tourists see when they arrive in Rhode Island. And uh, if you want to make a good impression, it's also the last thing that they see before they leave our state. Let's face it, you know, when you have beautiful surroundings, it just makes everybody feel a lot better. And we want people to have a good feel about our state and want to come back. Uh, our, obviously, our state airport should look clean and in writing, uh, when we uh, welcome travelers, when they touch down in Warwick, not Providence, just a thing for our Warwick, those Warwick people uh, that we have uh, uh, an issue with, but uh, maybe someday they'll change the announcement. <laughs> That's another story. Let me just say I am though so proud uh, that 80% of the funding of this project came from the bipartisan infrastructure uh, deal. Uh, Senator Reed, Senator Whitehouse, Congressman Cicilline and I uh, worked hard to make that happen with our colleagues on both sides of the aisle to deliver uh, these much needed federal dollars. And uh, of course, again, Director Albini and his team have made excellent use of them. So let's give them a hand for all the work that they've been doing on infrastructure. <laughs> you know, it seems like you can't go anywhere these days without seeing an infrastructure project going on, and we love to see that. And of course, uh, building up Rhode Island's infrastructure takes time and money, but it also takes the work of thousands of construction workers, truck drivers, planners, and engineers, I want to thank you for all that you've done these past few years for, and for the incredible work that you've yet to come. Let's give them a round of applause as well. Thank you. So uh, with that, uh, it is now my pleasure uh, to introduce a, a good friend, and again, someone we all like to see show up at these projects. I mean, I'm pleased to introduce Carlos Machado, who is uh, the Rhode Island Division Administrator for the Federal Highway Administration. Carlos started uh, at the FHA 22 years ago, I ran for the same time I started in Congress 22 years ago, uh, and he's been doing important work for the country and for Rhode Island ever since. So with that, thank you, and Carlos, I'll turn it over to you. What a beautiful introduction. Um, all the time that I came to a groundbreak, I meet with Senator White House and he asked me, did you bring your checkbook? Red. It's red to sign. Let's move ahead. And thank you for your support. Of course, without the three of them, and of course, the other congressman that's not with us today, uh, Cincelini, would it be impossible to build this project. As he mentioned, 80% are federal funds, and we have a lot of funds available right now. 
I also would like to thank for the invitation of my great partner Alviri. Alviri, we are working now for seven years together. It's impressed what we accomplished on the last seven years. The bridge, we changed the colors, as you know. You're driving our highways now. It's a blue bridge. We have we didn't have a blue bridge before. No, and it's fantastic. Uh, wherever you go in Rhode Island, for the mile post one to 27, you see orange corners everywhere. And it's because we are putting people to work. The only thing that uh, I would like to carry as a message today that make me worry is we're still losing lives in our roads. Here in Rhode Island, we lost 52 people last year. It's incredible that uh, with the COVID that reduced the traffic, we still lose that amount of people. And uh, there are just two explanations. One, it's the increase of speed, and they don't know why. And the se second one, we reduce the number of people using seat belts. That doesn't make any sense to me. And I appeal to the media today that carry that message. We need to reduce our speeds in our highways. And we need to use seat belts. It's not that difficult. Help. Our goal is to, ze to have zero fatality. We, are, we want our, our wives, husbands, parents to go back home by the end of the day. And I need your help. I would like to introduce my mayor. And when I say my mayor, it's because I live in Warwick. <laughs> and it's a great pleasure. This is the first time that I meet with him. Mayor Picard, please. Actually, I'd like to ask Council President Steve McCallis to come up with me. I want you here. All right. <laughs> Maybe thank you can think of something to say. <laughs> when you bat seventh in lineup, everyone said everything. Um, the, the pilots tell you it's in Providence, but the Warwick, the, the airport is in Warwick. We take a great deal of pride in that. You've heard it's the gateway to the state, and it is, and uh, the community loves that. We've asked for help to make it look a little bit better. Um, I want to thank our congressional delegation, along with the speaker, Representative Benefit, Be uh, Bennett, and all our work delegation, and the governor for bringing these funds. I really want to make special mention of Director Alvidi and his staff. Uh, they go out of their way to include Warwick and in all their plans as city government, uh, not only with the uh, connector here, but with the post road, the streetscaping we're going to be doing there, and all the paving. So I want to thank you for that, Peter. Thank you. And we're ready to get this project going, and let's keep it going. Uh, there's a lot more that can be done. Thank you. Thank you. So last, last but not least, certainly, you heard a lot of talk about the 80% federal funds that come into our projects here in Rhode Island. But without the necessary and essential 20% funding from the state, we don't get to spend that 80% percent of federal dollars and the governor working with the speaker this year has provided the additional necessary funding at the state level to be able to match all of those wonderful funds coming in from our congressional delegation I'd like to introduce speaker Sukachi thank thank you very much director it, it's always a pleasure to be here and, and I want to be brief and really not talk about this great event, but really talk about the relationship. And it's all about uh, bringing people together to getting things done. We have an outstanding congressional delegation. We work collaboratively. There's no ego here anywhere among all of these people. It's about, and I'll steal a line from Bill Belichick, doing the job, getting the job done. Uh, I want to recognize the governor, even though he's also not here today, the Senate president. We've formed a collaborative relationship and we've done a phenomenal job, not only in putting the 20% match in that the director talked about, but working together for the benefit of Rhode Islanders. And, and that starts at every level of government. I want to recognize the mayor, the council president, 
of course, my good colleague and friend, David Bennett, who represents this district. It's all about working together to make things happen. We'll continue to do that. We'll continue to make uh, Rhode Island a good place to live, raise, and work a family. And we'll continue to make Warwick a great place in Rhode Island. Thank you all very much, and thank everybody for their efforts today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.